guys welcome back to my channel my name is Idara Unwefa and if this is your first time on my channel you're welcome and I hope you enjoy your time on here so today guys we're going to be talking about fashion designers in Nigeria or fashion designers in Lagos Nigeria I think I can only speak for Lagos because I personally live in Lagos and Obviously, like I would like to um, use a designer in future or sometime in the future um, that lives in my city, and I don't have to, you know, travel or um, ship in from abroad. So let's get right into the video. So, like I said, we're going to be talking about fashion designers in Lagos that I personally would use or have used. So, the first fashion designer we're going to be talking about is Tubo and I'm going to put them, their Instagram pages um, in the description box or I'll try to insert them somewhere in the video. So basically, Tubo is a designer that I absolutely love her designs. So basically, um, I think I came across her page sometimes in 2019 or sometime in 2019 and I immediately fell in love with her so there's this um, design that I think she sort of created or revamped or brought back into the scene and stuff like that and this design is like the um, you know like when you when um, brides or um, mothers like so judges or so um the double wrapper thing that south south women wear um she basically reinvented it to be like a dress with i don't know how to explain it but i'll put a picture up of what i'm talking about so basically she reinvented the whole you know south south dressing making it look nice and with puffy sleeves and you know the straight uh, um Hand following it like is is her pieces uh, honestly so distinct like if you see a Tubo design you would know it's Tubo that did it like period like that's just it and I feel like that is what I love about her designs the fact that you can easily identify that she was the one that created it yeah so we're gonna be moving on to the next designer and this designer i feel like she is very bold and very audacious and this person is chic by vicky james so basically i think vicky james came into the scene proper in 2019 as well i'm not sure but i think like that was when i noticed her personally and the reason why I noticed Vicky James was because her pieces were very, you know, figure hugging, um, you know, um, body accentuating and stuff like that. And basically, she always sort of like uses like beadings or like stones, like Swarovski stones and stuff like that on her designs. And I think that's what I love because obviously I like bling. <laughs> So I think that was what I loved about or love about her pieces, the fact that you know she's not scared to put blinks on the dresses and stuff like that. And I think that's what her clients also love about her. I haven't been um, um, seen to um, use her um, to create any of my designs, but I'm sure in future <laughs> there will be something in the works. And yeah. But I really love her pieces. The next person we're going to be talking about is Made Dot Pieces. So basically, um, I follow, I follow, I follow, I follow Made Dot Pieces, and initially, I, I thought her name was Made Dot Pieces. I think, but then um, she. Um, did like um, an Instagram questionnaire stuff and she actually said it was made dot pieces and I was like oh wow <laughs> I've been calling him Maddie because I didn't I didn't just want to think it was just made 
dot pieces jigge and i've been calling him maddie and i'm sure a lot of people too have been calling her maddie before she did um her instagram um, questionnaire thing but one thing i love about um made pieces is the ease of you know her designs so basically when whenever i see her designs it's just always like it's easy you know there's no like you don't feel i don't me personally looking at her designs i don't feel like her clients are uncomfortable in her designs like if you understand what i'm saying like you know like when you wear a dress and you feel comfortable in it i feel like that's what made pieces would feel like you know and this is just my opinion obviously <laughs> they don't have to be your opinion and share <laughs> but yeah like i feel like um her designs and her pieces are like very easy and very comfortable you know if i can use that word but yeah that, that's what i love about her her designs and then the next designer <laughs> we're gonna be talking about <laughs> is the one and only <laughs> J B A V. So basically, I came across J B Levine in, I think, December of 2016. I know it's a long time. <laughs> I came across um, J B Levine in December of 2016, and this was when I was living in Surulere. And I, you know, went on Instagram. And I was like, ah, I'm tired of all these Taylor Wahalas and stuff like that. And I want my waist snatched. I want my dress available, like ASAP and stuff like that. And I remember that I, I think I was traveling that December. So, and the, the wedding I was going for was in January. So I just wanted to give the Taylor, what, whoever was going to make my dress, my fabric. And when I get back, like later on in December, I would, um, oh wait, was it later on in December? Yeah, later on in December, I would um, just collect it and hope that the dress came out well. And then I went to his store with my sister, and you know he designed, he sketched the design, you know, all the fizzy. And when I got my um, dress back, my dress fits like a glove, as in. You are not understanding. Like the first time I tried, I didn't even try it on because my mom had gone to pick it up. And when I got home and I tried it on, as per they dropped the dress, there's no adjustment again. It fits like a glove. Like my waist was snatched. The style was as was described. You know, like I wasn't fam. JB Living knows his stuff. Basically, if you don't want disappointment. Mm -hmm. Like if you're looking for someone, a designer that can design your piece, you know, get your fabric, you know, sew it, put all them bling bling, all them appliques and stuff on it. I think JB Living is your guy because I can attest to it. This one, I've, I've used him before and like no disappointments basically. I don't, I've never experienced disappointment with JB Living. I'll put a picture up of the outfit that he um, that he did for me and yeah and yeah he's just that good if that makes sense and he's and his business is a business that cares about you you the customer yeah I've said enough a bit <laughs> the next person fashion designer I'm gonna be talking about <laughs> is Aisha Couture um, obviously, I'm, like I said, I'm going to put all these um, fashion designers um, handle or details or whatever in the video or in the description box and hopefully you can, you know, go check them out. Aisha Kocher, I feel like her designs are very... Um, her designs are very, I won't say bold, but they're like... They, they make you look expensive if that makes any sense <laughs> you know like there's some like like there's some designs or there's some dresses or outfits that you wear and you just look expensive like nobody knows if you have five thousand naira in your account or you have 200 naira or you have 10 million or you have 100 billion like 
you just look expensive. I feel like Aisha Couture is that designer that will make you look expensive regardless of you know whatever it is you end up you know wearing from her like her designs just make you look expensive it's as if you just throw push, money on you <laughs> i'm exaggerating but yeah that's that's what i personally feel this is my opinion this is what i feel about aisha kuchou the next designer fashion designer we're gonna be talking about <laughs> is Marve Official. So Marve Official I feel like is one of those designers where you know you want the corsets, you know you want to be snatched, you know you want a place, you know you want bling, you know you want beading, you know you want feathers, you know you you everything you know you want. Marve gonna give it to you. <laughs> and this is what I feel from her page. Like it's it's mind-blowing that you actually get all these feelings from someone's Instagram and this is what I feel from her page like Marve, I feel like her pieces are just you know like when you use so much stuff but they still come out together looking good like really good that's what I feel like Marve gives you like just that's just it that's what I feel like she gives you yeah the next first thing we're going to be talking about is Bandora Online. So, I actually do not know if Bandora Online um, fashion is, or the person behind Bandora Online basically, is a man or a woman, or male or female. Like, I don't think I've ever seen him or her that designs the pieces on their Instagram page. And this is this is very mind blowing for me because you know usually like this is just me personally I have never seen the person that is behind the pieces on Bandora online. However, I feel like Bandora is close to my heart. Like if I were to say, you know, who off the top of my head will I want to design like? one of my wedding outfits um, one of my wedding outfits I would definitely say Bandura online for sure like I love I love Bandura online because personally as a creative I I love to design my pieces like things I wear like things I you know um, give people to sew for me and stuff like that I love to design them so basically what I think about a fabric in my mind, I'm thinking of, oh, I want to attach, I want to have, you know, velvet, I want to have silk, I want to have um, chantilly lace, you know, stuff like that, you know, sequin and stuff like that. And I feel like Bandora literally puts all those things that I would love in a fabric together easily. Like, I've seen pieces that she designed with lace and velvet and chantilly. And I'm just like, fam, this, and they, and they, and they don't actually look like is so they're sewn. They look like they're made, like you know, like when you go to like a boutique, a couture boutique, or just a boutique gen in general, like, and you pick out something and it fits you. And obviously, the pieces are sewn, but they don't actually look so. It doesn't look tailor made. If that makes sense, I don't know how to explain it, but like. Bandura online, I feel like her pieces just him or her. Let me not say. I think it's a her though. <laughs> let me not say. But I feel like their pieces are so unique and so good, and they look absolutely stunning. Fam, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put something there for you guys to see what I'm talking about. You know. Yeah. And the next designer we're gonna be talking about <laughs> is Ideal Nupo. I hope I pronounced that well. <laughs> I actually hope I pronounced that well. But this designer, fam, I just noticed her in 2020. But I'm sure she has been in the game for a while. Ever, ideal Nupo, your work is stunning. Like, 
like the appliques that she uses, I don't know where she gets them from. Or the laces that she uses, I don't know where she gets them from. But you literally look like you're wearing diamonds. If that makes any sense. Like, you look like you're wearing diamonds from head to toe. Because you're gonna blend out. You're gonna blind your enemies. Oh my phone, I love you, man. Like, oh my blind. <laughs> you know, they'll not be able to see fronts and stuff like that. <laughs> you know? And I feel like that's what I that's what I absolutely love about ideal Nupo. <laughs> so girl, we're coming for you because you gotta make us a piece. That looks stunning. Well yeah. And the last but not the least fashion designer I'm going to be talking about today is Saint Margaret Official. Saint Margaret Official, I believe, is a fashion designer that just knows her stuff. Or more. I think they have. <laughs> Let me look at they have and they but Saint Margaret official definitely knows what they are doing. Like their pieces are very personally. I believe like if if you want to sew like your traditional um, wedding outfit or you want to you want to have like a traditional look, I feel like Saint Margaret official would create something very unique for you, for your body type, for your shape, for your figure, something to accentuate, you know, what you already have and bring out the beauty in your style. And yeah, um, that is what I think I love about um, St. Margaret Official and that is why they are on this list. And that guys is the end of this video. And you loved um, watching this video and be sure to check them out because I'm sure you know they're gonna be you know running the streets and popping and you know move, making moves but yeah um, uh, if you this content or you love this content or you would like to see content like this more content like this please be sure to subscribe on um, to my channel and I hope you do come back for more videos because your girl is not smiling and yeah hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to click on the like and like button and please comment down below and if you like to see more videos like this thank you very much and have a lovely day